I'm Armored Chocobo, and I decided you haven't suffered enough yet. That's right, it's the sister game to Link the Faces of Evil. Also made by Animation Magic. Also a progenitor of YouTube Poops. This is Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon. So you see, it kind of works out. We, we did the ages and seasons, and now we're doing Faces of Evil and the Wand of Gamelon. We're twin games. Nothing I could tell you about this game you haven't heard in the last game. It's just, um, it's not Nintendo. It's barely even Philips. It's animation magic. Doing a video game. And it's terrible. But this one has an additional feature if you manage to complete it in hero mode. The, um, the ROM hacker? The, the, I guess this won't be a ROM hack. Just, uh, the remastered guys added the king. If you could beat it on hero mode. I didn't do that. I'm just gonna start a new game. Regrettably. Duke Anklet is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of Courage to protect me. If you don't hear from me in a month, send Link. Ampa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. He said the line. Oh boy, I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. Well, granted, he did eat a rock roast in the most, most recent game, so that works. A whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's all right. Yeah, that old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. He also said the line. Wake up, Impa. We're going to Gamelon. All right, dear. I'll get the Triforce of Wisdom. Yeah, I'm sure that will be very helpful. So, um, yeah, no, uh... What the hell is this name now? No Gwonom in this one. No Squadala. We just sailed here. Welcome to Gamelon. I think I know what happened to Link. Why he's suddenly gone missing. The king was like, oh, I forgot the Triforce of Courage, and then cut his hand off. That's how I would have done it. Also, Link failed. He had the most character development in this game than he did until Breath of the Wild. Oh, there's only limited places we could go, so we might as well get this torture over with, huh? Let's go to Iro Ainu. Hey, you actually get to play Zelda in this game. That means it's better, right? Look, she's out in the savanna, killing 30 to 50 wild hogs. With her sword, that she totally had. Right then, Hyrule Warrior, she used a... She used a Wind Waker thing, didn't she? The baton? She did have a rapier weapon, but she didn't have a shield. Because they, they're just too lazy. They, they needed something that played like Link, and... Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, a Dodongo! Link would have loved to bomb one of these things. We're just gonna have to stab it in the face now. No bombs for Zelda. She doesn't have her remote bombs. Yeah, we could just stab a Dodongo in the face. It's not like the original Zelda in the least. You would think you would get some meat off these hogs, but no, they're just kind of here. Lady in the middle of nowhere. Everyone ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. Here's a shroud that scares the raps off Gibdo. Hey, she kind of looks like Link with the, the Hylian cloak now. So why are they scared of this lady? Everyone ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. How? What is she up to out here, all by her lonesome? That's the biggest mystery of this game. But that's really the only thing we need to do in Arrow I know, is to get that, that shroud off of her while she, you know, murders the monsters left and right. Let's head into the main town. We're going to be back here a lot. Sakado. 
This is where the main shop is. This is where the main everything is. This, um... This game believes in more backtracking than Faces of Evil. And this is supposed to be the Marshu of the game. Of course I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. They're called rupees! Get it right! I'm sure they've gotten it right in the instruction booklet. No, the rubies here. But yeah, this is uh this is our Morshu now, this mad hatter looking fellow. He's not as mimetic, therefore he's lame. I might as well buy a little bit of stuff right now. Nice some lamp oil. And I'm gonna steal this rope. Sorry, Zelda. Not enough rubies. You'll have to wipe out a few more gorillas to get that. Go ahead and point out those gorillas for me, why don't you? Because all I see are Diaras and Arpagos. And the ones that are kneeling are worth more. And they're throwing axes. So a lot of the town got kidnapped by Ganon, and they're off doing kidnap things. So, there's not much to do in this town. Hello, dearie. Oh, just a minute. That's a very silly sound effect you got. Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust and I'll make it a magic cloak. No! Oh! Chico's mom! She's back! She escaped from Tingle! Somehow! That's definitely Chico's mom. I mean, she's a tailor. She's kind of shifty-eyed, did you see that? Yeah, she's totally doing the shifty-eyed thing. That's definitely Chico's mom. They somehow reincarnated her in this game. Or maybe she was the inspiration in the Tingle game, you know? Now, this is where Impa's hanging out, kind of like Wonom. Also, I didn't do this the entire time, but your select button will bring up hints on what to do next. There's a Gibdo in the church. We should do something about that. I don't see how a shroud is going to kill a mummy, though. Do you see anything? Yes. Oh, my. Your father has been captured. What about Link? He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. Like I said, he got his hand cut off. Also, couldn't they have done that from home, or did they have to get closer? Is there, like, a limited range on the Triforce of Wisdom? It's kind of like a cell phone. I'm sure there's other things to do around in this town. Probably not in this room, though. No. Zilda could get murdered by an axe. She could take it directly in the face and then die. That's always a possibility. Might as well head up here. There's no point in going up here, but I'm gonna go up here. Let me get my revenge on these Arpagos. Do you think they're birds? That's an affront. No self-respecting bird would allow themselves to be in this game. Especially not dive-bombing Zelda. You know, the weakest character in the Zelda series. I know she deals with Ganon, but... Look at her, she's getting killed by birds. She has to be weak. Obviously, you're gonna have to do some crowd control, or you're gonna get murdered by Arpagos. Gonna need this egg, though. There's not much else to do in town right now. There's too many things locked off from us. We gotta go help people or something. I thought we were just here for the king. Getting his dinner. We brought it with us. It's still warm somehow. Stop that. One good thing about Unlimited Lives is you can just, like, farm rupees. Or rubies. That must be the... That's the shroud there. Then what's that pink thing. I forget what that is. That's a very silly way to use a cloak. Also, it doesn't do damage to enemies. I think that might be that shroud that Chico's mom gave us, and she said she needs fairy dust for. So she just handed it to us. And we got more rubies now. We're gonna need a few things before we leave. A couple stacks of bombs. A couple stacks of rope. Definitely lamp oil. Just in case. Ah, uh, that looks... No, actually, we need more bombs. Actually, we need more bombs. Soon, anyway. 
Yeah, we'll have rupees soon enough. I'll come back here and shop. But we need at least 10 bombs for something early. Let's go to Kobatan. I kind of like this place, all things considered, because they do a 3D space and a 2D one. And the effect kind of sort of works. It kind of works. Moblins everywhere. You have to go in this house. There's an item here. Do you see it? It's the lantern! Good thing we had lantern oil. And this is just a quick and easy way back. Now we can see in total darkness, again. They really like that mechanic, so they went with it. Twice. Now recall, this came out, like, in tandem. Just like Ages and Seasons, just like Pokémon Red and Blue and all the other Pokémon games. So that's like, uh, Recycling Cut or something. Speaking of Lantern, we need it here. Gotta take care of this guy. I forget his name, but now he's a Red Rupee. Ruby. Red Ruby! I gotta frickin' see the right thingity. That gets us a key for the barn area. Oh, that is the barn area. Where does this key go, then? It doesn't go in this house down here, does it? Did I just blind this house entirely? Actually, yes! Don't toot a stranger's flute like that, Zelda. That's weird. If you come here and you don't have an Arpago's egg, she says she's hungry and she needs an omelet. So you gotta go find her an egg somewhere. I just skipped all that. Let's cut scenes for me. And that's all we need to do in Kobatan. We never need to go back there. But since we had the lantern, we could do more in Sakata. Gotta stretch it out to 20 minutes somehow, and that's as long as I can tolerate it this game, unless I'm finishing it. We need the lantern for this. Or we could just use some rope. We could also use some rope. That'll, like, high-speed us up to the top of this thing. I'm not quite sure what Zelda was climbing on there, but she's gonna have to do it again. There's a rather generous hitbox on rope ladders like that. And somebody just had a power source sitting around. Now remember last time, we got a power sword off some crazy fisherman that caught a goma and said it was a crab. Here, we, we just found it in an abandoned building. It's just like someone's private property we stole. Uh, where's the door at? I don't want to use another lamp oil just to find a door. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Keys, do you see the door? You can see in the dark. It's like in the middle of the screen, isn't it? You know what? Peck it. It was right here the whole time! It's like terrible hide-and-seek. Except you want to hide this game in a desert, next to the E.T. cartridges. Okay, it wasn't that bad, and especially with the remaster, it's not quite that bad. Need bombs. Bombs are in the cards. Because remember what I told you last time about a puzzle requiring a whole bunch of bombs? Well, they learned their lesson from the last game. Somehow. And uh, there's a puzzle in my way that's going to require a peck ton of bombs. So we're done with Sakato. We're going to head on to Ahitaro. Which is right here. In the desert. You know, the little isolated desert, just like in Link's Awakening. I should stop trying to compare this game to other Zelda games, because it really shouldn't. Even Link's crossbow training is better than this game. Just putting it out there. Nintendo's worse is better than, you know, whatever this is. You got a Goma. Yes, you could shoot lasers at it too, but I didn't have any of those. Gomas are going to be in the way. I can use bombs, but I'm lazy, so I'm just going to stab and have infinite lives do all of the work. I mean, why the heck not? It's free rupees. 
and we're gonna need them. I don't even care if they call it rubies anymore. This game doesn't deserve respect. Nice jump over the Goma pit! Here, have a drink! Thanks. What is with your face? Hey, there's a fisherman trapped in the fish head! Really? And I heard that that was a meme. I haven't seen that one. She looked like she was a deer caught in headlights and about to stab someone. But this is what we need multiple bombs for. We need at least 10 bombs for this fish head. It's a very sturdy fish head. The rock was made of dolomite. There we go. If we had the power glove, we could probably do that in one hit. Thanks! You saved me! That's the last time I'm going fishing! See you in Cicado! What is with the faces in this game in particular? Not even Faces of Evil had terrible faces like that one. Or the other one. Or Chico's mom. We just had a trifecta of bad faces. These are the Faces of Evil here. So we saved the fisherman from a fish skeleton. Don't ask any questions about why he is in a fish skeleton. Let's just go back to Sakato once again. Everything's gonna rotate around Sakato. We can't go there, we already got the power sword. We can't go there because that's where we got the lantern, I think. Everything's running together already. Throat's starting to hurt because it's dry. This is, game just sucks moisture out of the air. This is where the fishermen went. Look! I got a new job! Hey! Bring a heat crystal! I'll fix up your sword! So he's kind of like those Omni crafters from an MMO. First he goes fishing, now he's blacksmithing. Next he'll be a miner. Then a tailor for some reason, and he'll run Chico's mom out of business. But he needs a heat crystal. We're not going to be finding one too yet. But we could go do the graveyard thing. I heard about uh, Gibdo causing problems. So might as well head there. Take an axe in the face. Zelda dying in horrible ways. Welcome to the graveyard! We don't have power gloves yet, which means we're gonna have to whip out our bombs. Luckily, I got some of those. That only requires one now. And we got the Guinies! I just remembered what these ghost fellows are. Yeah, they're supposed to be the ghosts from Zelda. You know, the, the big bulbous boo-looking ones? That's what they look like here. Because as somehow big bulbous ghosts are just too crazy for this game. All we're meant to do here is get a, a, a key. And that's it. Where does the key go? It goes right next door. For the dead shall rise, and the living shall be their slaves. She must be stopped. I like Gibdos that don't talk. We're gonna have to do something about that. First we need some light in here. The lost skeleton of Kadabra is back. You couldn't get enough of how bad this game was. He shouted, I have risen! I know there's a rope here somewhere. That he could climb on. No? I'll just have to make my own then. There he is. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use the shroud on him. Just throw it, maybe? The shroud! No! It's gone! No! Why did you stand there for that? Also, what was in that shroud? That concerns me a little bit. You just dissolved the guy. Holy cow! It does open up the Washubi Swamp, which is apparently very hard on the CDI. It, it's just kind of plain here, though. Because you can jump up on these trees, and the frame rates won't, like, screw you over. Otherwise, you're gonna have to ride the alligators down there. You could do that, just like in Pitfall. And if you stay high, you don't even have to worry about them. Just the Arpagos and, uh... I forget what those little critters, the crawly things, those things. I don't know what they are. 
All I know is you stab them with your sword and they go away. You can knock you back into the water though, which is bad. This one's actually a little bit harder than Phases of Evil. There's some difficult sections to it. Like that right there. You could fail completely and die. You know, fail completely, just like this game. And this other game. Both games. Ah, I missed the jump. Can I get on an alligator, please? No? You just die? Alright. That sounds like a good idea, too. Just dying sounds like a good idea. That's what I said about them knocking out the trees. Now imagine trying to play that at like 5 frames a second with a remote control. In case you've never seen the remote control on the CDI, that's what it looks like. It's no Wii remote, I'll tell you that much right now. Try playing a game like a controller that needs a controller like that with something like that. It looks like a regular TV remote. Hmm, aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do all right. That's the spirit. Bring some hand you spore if you want a bit more punch. That voice does not belong to that character. And also, what did I say about faces? Another blacksmith alchemist kind of person wants to upgrade our glove. Those, those eyes, those eyes are the ones that get me. He needs a Hanyu Spore, we're gonna have to go to Hanyu Forest, but right now I've had enough of this game for about 24 hours. Next time on Zelda The Wand of Gamelon. More of this. And probably terrible faces. Good night, folks.